Hey everyone, I just want to do a very quick update video. Blackmagic Design just this morning released a new software update for the ATEM Mini Switcher that adds a feature that's been very much requested by a lot of people in the community, and that is audio delay. So if we take a look at the description that they have here on their website. Uh, this is version 8.2.3. Adds an adjustable audio delay on the analog inputs on the ATEM Mini models. That's both the regular Mini and the Mini Pro. It also has a couple other small changes. Allows the DVE to scale more than 100% in size on the ATEM Mini and ATEM Mini Pro. Some general performance and stability updates. So uh, just download and install this just like you would any other update. You use the ATEM setup utility in order to install. So if you launch the ATEM setup and go in and click on the button there, it'll tell you automatically if there as an update and we'll, we'll do the update for you. And once you've actually installed that update, you come into the ATEM software control software, navigate to the audio tab on the mic one and mic two, there's a new place you can click there to actually set a delay in the number of frames um, you want to delay this audio signal by. So this is useful if you've got audio coming through a different route than your video. So if you're not sending audio through cameras or, and your cameras have uh, a delay on the HDMI outputs, which is very, very common for a lot of the cameras that are going to be used with the A10 Mini, you can actually delay your audio coming from your mixer going in through these inputs on the back of the switcher with this feature now. So uh, you don't have to have a separate device for it. It's, this is a very cool little new thing that they've just added as of today. So uh, if this is something you might need, feel free to go to Blackmagic's website and download the software and uh, check it out. That's, it's a pretty cool new thing that they've added. So if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. We do video production related content at least once a week uh, these days. And we've got a new series we've started called The Stream Team where we do instruction on how to get started in live streaming. So talking about the equipment, how to use it, uh, what it takes in order to actually get a video live online. So thanks everyone for watching and have a fantastic day.